Thanks for joining me on this tour of colonial Calcutta, or Calcutta, and Calcutta today. Today, Calcutta is a vibrant city, the commercial and financial hub of Eastern India. When I visited it for a week in 1975, it seemed okay, but when I visited again in the mid-1990s, it was seriously in decline. Most of the shops had their own electrical generators and there was massive construction uh, in the streets, making them impassable. During my first visit, I was a backpacker and stayed on Sutter Street. The second visit, I stayed at the Eastern Oriental Hotel, which was a great disappointment, but it was very central and located very near Chowaringi Street and Park Street, the center of the old city. Calcutta is located on the northeastern side of India, next to Bangladesh. It was very early a colony of England under the East Indian Company. This satellite photograph shows its location on the Hooghly River draining into the Bay of Bengal. A modern map which shows the very densely uh, populated nature of this area. Moving closer to Calcutta, or Kolkata, you can see the neighborhood, the neighboring towns. A satellite photograph of the city on the west side of the river. This map shows railways and transportation routes. More railways and transportation. An early 19th century map showing the city under the British Raw. More of the same 19th century maps. I became interested in uh, Calcutta, probably because of its popularity in uh, the media. I'd seen the uh, play, Old Calcutta. I'd seen lots of posters about Calcutta. Of course, Mother Teresa was always in the news. Here's a Marvel comic. There were lots of books and newspaper articles about Mother Teresa and her work with the poor in Calcutta. And Calcutta featured in other literature as well. The Calcutta cookbook I found to be excellent. I'd read tourist information about Calcutta and there were lots of things to see, not least the Indian Museum. St. Paul's Cathedral, the National Library, and of course the Victoria Memorial. I wanted to see Government House, an early 19th century um, castle, the seat of the Viceroys of India, and later taken over by the Governor of Bengal. This satellite photograph shows the layout of Government House. An early 19th century postcard of Government House. My father's a keen stamp collector and he had lots of stamps about Calcutta. A drawing of Calcutta. A very early uh, painting of Calcutta under the British East Indian Company. It was a major port for that trading company. an engraving at the time of the British East India Company. Public buildings. We're now going to take a quick look at colonial postcards of 19th century Calcutta under British rule. This is the General Post Office under the British. St. Paul's Cathedral. 
the uh, Stuart Bathing statue in Dalhousie Square. A picture of the Hoogby River and the port around 1947. Another early postcard of public buildings in Calcutta or Kolkata under the British rule. The Mahomedian Merhararam Festival. Sorry about the pronunciation. A collection of old postcards showing the numerous British colonial buildings of the 19th century. Pictures of the British in the late 19th century. Life looked quite peaceful and enjoyable. This is a Kitchener statue. Bathing steps in the Hoopi River at the Kalikat Temple. The Tara Temple on the upper circular road. You've had enough of colonial buildings. Let's move on to the people of Calcutta. Here's a, a 19th century photograph of a dancer. British visitors. An unwed, very young teenage mum not much more than 13, I think. Uh, photograph taken by uh, a US government photographer in 1947. A snake charmer. Another 1947 photograph with a snake charmer. And things haven't changed yet. A current photograph of pretty much the same. This is the flower market and showing off flowers. A lady of Kolkata. In late uh, 1975, early 1976, I stayed in a backpacker's hostel on Sutter Street, shown here. A street vendor with her cat preparing bread, a lady on the street asking for money. People of Kolkata very often appear quite happy. School books for the young boy. School children hard at work. An older porter Cooking on the street. Models of women for sale. I move on to the uh, Victoria Memorial, which is a principal uh, site for tourists. 